Hi, I'm Mark Bauer with Bauer Small Engine Repair, and I would like to give you a few tips on uh, how to maintain your electric lawnmower. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your cord is in good shape, and, uh, and it is the right gauge wire, and um, you don't want to use too long of a cord because of voltage drop. Um, the, uh, the ends are important. Um, that they're in, that they're not damaged, and uh, obviously the cord. You don't want it to have a bunch of uh, splits and frays or or any uh, visual damage. Um, this cord has um, has been worn um, and is getting ready to to lose its insulation in certain spots. So this would be one to not use on your electric lawnmower. You would want you want to get a good cord, a little thicker. Uh, would would be a good idea, um, but these are this is the most common cord people have in their garage, and um, you know if it's been hanging up a long time, it it might have dried out. So you you want to really make sure you start with a good power supply, and this is this is the place to start with a good cord. A most common failure is uh, that the motor gets uh, the vents get clogged with grass and doesn't allow air to travel across the electric motor to cool it. So if you can remove the cover, go ahead and take it off to clean it. But if you can't remove it and you have compressed air, you can blow out the, the fins, the, the vents. I'll just blow that out. You can uh, use a leaf blower in place of compressed air and blow out the, the cooling of the motor. If the motor on the electric lawnmower does not uh, make any sound and it's not operating at all, uh, the connection is important. So like on this one, you have a connection like this. Um, this would be common on a battery uh, powered electric lawnmower. And you wanna make sure these connections are clean and, and everything's making a good contact. What I usually do, if I don't have, uh, if the mower won't start or the blade won't turn it on, I know my battery is good and I know I have good power supply coming into it, I simply uh, take this in and out a few times, which can knock off a little bit of corrosion. And also if, if it has a little bit of, a, uh, if it have, has a little bit of a dirt in there, it kind of it gets it out of there. Okay, those are just a few tips on what you can do to take care of your electric lawnmower.